Prashi finish? Prashi has it finished? Thank you. Do you want your child to give you the mobile phone or switch off the television in the same way with a smiling face? Are you upset with the mobile addiction of your child? Or your child is still small and you do not want him to get this sort of addiction? Then this video is for you as I will be covering all these topics in this video. Hello friends, this is Parnika from MummyTuber India. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any such video in the future. Before starting the video, I would just like to say that there are many videos on YouTube which claim that it's easy to get rid of your child's mobile and TV addiction or it's just a one day thing. It's not a one day thing. Any addiction is not a one day thing. You have to show consistency and patience to get over it and this is what I claim. If you try out these tips consistently and with patience, you will definitely get success one day. I have one bonus tip for you. So watch the video till the end and let's get started. The first and the foremost thing is set a routine. Like the child has a routine for sleeping, for eating. Similarly, fix a certain period of time and in a particular time of the day to let her watch the mobile or the television. The child will throw tantrums in the beginning. He'll crib and cry. But after the child's brain has been programmed that certain way, he won't ask uh, for it again. Like my daughter can watch mobile or television for 30 minutes a day. First 15 minutes when she has taken a bath after her bath and the second 15 minutes in the evening. And now she doesn't ask for it apart from this period of time. Don't treat watching TV or mobile as a price or don't use it as a bribe. Now what some mothers do is, they say, oh, you have finished your homework, now you can watch mobile or TV for this period of time. Or, help me in this household chore and then you can watch the mobile or TV, then I'll give it to you. It's wrong. Instead, uh, try and give alternatives like, let me cook your favorite meal. Or you can play with your friends with that half an hour for that half an hour extra because you have done such a nice work. Give the child alternatives. Don't give the mobile to your child when you are out to a restaurant or you are waiting for the doctor or any other place. See, what you can do is, you can keep some special toys for that occasion. When you are going out, you can keep just one or two special toys or if your child is fond of coloring, you can keep those pocket sized coloring books and crayons. You carry them along with you and once you are back from that place, keep them inside so that the excitement doesn't fade away. So keep some special toys or something special when your child is out. One very common complaint these days is that my child doesn't eat without watching TV or mobile. There are ways in which you can make your child eat and if you want then I'll definitely make a video on this topic also. Just leave your comments in the comment box. Now comes uh, the situation when your child is a little bit big. Now whenever he comes to you and says oh mama I am getting bored or oh, papa I am getting bored the first option that you have is giving the mobile or television to the child. No, don't do this. Instead throw the ball in his court. You ask him to give options that what else can be done. Or if your child is getting cranky then you can give the child options. Like for example, uh, let's paint a handkerchief with your name on it or let's play, uh, pretend play, let's play the vegetable vendor, fruit vendor or let's do some gardening. So give your child the options. Enroll your kid in some extracurricular activities. Definitely it is going to help your child in studies also because extracurricular activities not only get rid of the mobile addiction but also enhances the concentration of your child. Enroll him in dance classes or sports or any other thing that your child likes. Some mothers complain that I am not the one who gives the mobile or TV to my child. The elderly in the house, when the child is crying, he's shouting and playing, then they say, oh, give him the mobile or switch on the television. At least he'll sit at a place. Try to convince them politely. Try to show them videos or newspaper articles that mobile phone is so detrimental for the brain of your child. And if they are not getting convinced, you take a stand. 
you have to be a little strict and say no i don't want my child to watch so i don't want him to watch next is forget what people are thinking about you because your child is your priority now i'll just tell you an example there are two friends my daughter's friends sometimes they come over to a house to play and sometimes my daughter goes there now whenever she returned from their house i asked her so what did you play and she used to say i watched television or i watched the mobile phone one day i went to their mother and very gently said to her please do not make them watch uh, television or mobile because three kids are enough to play together now i was thinking after that that she must be thinking oh uh, she is so rude or uh, she thinks herself to be very advanced all sort of things but let her think because again your child is your priority and sometimes you have to deal with such situations or screen time your child does what he watches you doing so just try to use your screen time and ultimately your child's screen time will also get reduced finally comes the bonus tip you can get this sort of symbian old style mobile phone definitely have your smartphone also but just keep it out of the sight of your child whenever you whenever you have to you know operate facebook youtube or any other thing do it while your child is sleeping or when he is uh, he has in school or any other time but, but just don't show this to your child let him think that you don't have a smartphone at all to watch anything on it and don't recharge your tv also my tv is not recharged it's just like that whatever i have to watch i have to watch movies or daily soaps i don't watch them actually but anything else i just watch it on my phone with the help of netflix and amazon prime so these were my tips to help your child get over his mobile addiction and tv addiction if you have any tip that helped you kindly share it in the comment box so that other mothers can benefit from it thank you for watching namaste